Hello everyone. So today we are going to actually see uh, how to send a message from a methods integration server uh, to Solus. So as you know, if you have followed uh, the previous video where I had demonstrated how to configure the web methods integration server to work with uh, Solus, um, we have done some prerequisites. Uh, just to recap on that. Uh, so this is the integration server. I've logged in over here. You can navigate to the messaging section. And here in the messaging section, you'll see that we have created a JNDI connection alias. And we have created a, a JMS connection alias, which uses the JNDI uh, uh, alias. So just to make sure it is working, I'm going to just disable the JMS alias and enable it back. If everything is up and running, uh, this should be uh, in uh, enabled state. Now I'm switching over to Solus. And on Solus, I have my um, message VPN. And the JNDI connection factory is also defined over here. So this is what we had covered in our previous video. Let's jump over into uh, the designer. All right. So now in designer, I have a flow service, uh, empty flow service called Solace Messaging in place. So publishing onto Solace is quite simple. Uh, we just start with uh, the JMS uh, send um, service. So once you click on the pipeline, you will get the connection alias name. Uh, so the connection alias name is what we're going to actually take from integration server, which is nothing but the Solace ISJMS alias name. Back, put it over here. Okay, That's one. The next thing is the destination name. So the destination name is actually the name of the topic or queue you want to publish to. So I'm going to call it secure queue. Okay. So that's done. Next thing is the destination type. Now this is whether it's a topic or a queue. Uh, let's opt in for queue and say OK. With this much in place, uh, you're pretty much ready to actually start uh, testing things. Uh, but just to be able to show you more information, I'm going to actually put in one more piece or maybe let, let, let's try it like this. Let's say, you know, put in just the message body over here as a string. Okay. Let's say hello world. Or you know what, let's actually do one thing. Let's make it a little more interesting. Okay, so I have a JSON string. I'm going to actually copy uh, JSON. It over here Excellent. and the pipeline output is a document you move on into the JMS and this is your document let's drag the document onto the data okay with this everything is set uh, or we can just drop the pipeline variable for JSON string don't need that and let's just run it Okay, so the first case is that it shouldn't work because obviously the queue is not defined. Uh, but let's do a test driven development. And yeah, and it says secure.queue doesn't exist, cannot be found. That's pretty straightforward. Let's jump on into service. Let's go on to the queue, delete the queue as well. Okay, switch back to designer. Let's again run it. And uh, as you can see, uh, it still gives the same error. Let's run the flow service once more. And you can see secure.q doesn't exist. So it says secure.q doesn't exist. Let's jump over to Solus. Let's go ahead and create the queue. Secure.q. Okay. And activate it. So now the queue exists. We switch back to designer. Let's run it again. Yeah, so no luck. 
as you can see it's keep, it still keeps saying that the j india i look up for the queue doesn't exist now why is this the case so when you when you actually do a j india i look up there is one more place where you actually give a j india i name for the physical queue that you have defined so let's hop back to solus come on to the j india i definitions this is where you had defined your connection factory next to it there is an option for creating a queue so this is the name of the jms queue that we were actually defining so let's say secure.queue so this is it's kind of like an alias name and this is the actual queue that was defined so you could give this some other name and use that in your designer uh, and that would work too so let's say create that's it jump back on the designer let's try to run it this time okay yeah and this time as you can see we have uh, submitted one document onto uh, solus so back onto solus now i'll get onto the queues on the queue you can see one message is actually uh, on the spool so here now you can maybe and try the use the try me method and try and let's say subscribe not on the topic and subscribe to a queue a secure dot queue there's one message on the queue now obviously once we subscribe to it yeah so the message is actually consumed don't worry about the representation of the message uh, that's because we are uh, now sending it using the data but you could also use different types of message while sending on to it and it could actually just um, you'd be able to see the messages over here so for example if you use this secure dot q say uh, publish message is going to come over here so let's clear it up once more let's hop back on to designer let's submit one more message yeah and yeah you should be seeing a message over here and obviously when you switch back on to queue you wouldn't actually be able to see a message because it's actually getting consumed so i hope this has been a quick intro on how to send a message on to the queue i've just used a document over here to convert it but you could also just uh, should off it move on to the pipeline and uh, don't have a document anymore could just uh, put it on a string and as well as send it across could now just from here send the message 1 2 yeah and you should be seeing those messages over here yeah right so it could work in that fashion too so it just uh, different types of sending uh, the message we'll explore more details on uh, how different types of messages are sent as well as see in a couple of other videos how to consume the messages that were actually on the um queue hope you like this video if you like to know more about uh, the methods or solus please uh, uh put in some comments and uh, i'll try to get back to you on that thank you